In today's video, I'm going to show you this really awesome video transition, and that is the paintbrush transition. So let's get right into it. So once you have Adobe After Effects open and you have two videos imported, we can begin with this effect. Now in my example, you can see I've got some footage of a train and you can also see I've got some footage of myself talking to camera. So we're going to transition from this train shot to the shot of myself. Now in order to begin with this paintbrush transition effect, we need to begin by creating a brand new black solid. So we'll go up to layer, new, solid. We'll make sure the color is pure black. Make sure this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And if this is, then we can press OK. This black solid should be on the very top layer. If it's not, then make sure you drag this up to the very top. So you should have black solid on the top and your two videos underneath. Now, if we go up to the toolbar on the top of After Effects and select the rectangle mask, we just want to draw a small rectangle over the top third of the video. Now from here, we'll go into effects and presets and we'll search for turbulent displace. And then we'll drop turbulent displace right on top of that rectangle mask. In turbulent displace, we're gonna go down to the complexity and we're gonna pull this all the way up to 10. And as you can see, we've got this really cool fragmented edge, which is similar to a paint spray. Now that looks really cool, but we need to animate this on as if this has been sprayed on. So we'll open up masks and we'll pull the cursor head all the way back to the very beginning. Now create a brand new keyframe on mask path. Go ahead, maybe five, six, seven, eight keyframes. Create a brand new keyframe and then scroll back to the very beginning. So we'll go back to our first keyframe and we'll pull the two keyframes on the right of the mask over to the very left. So this should create an animation. So as that mask animates in from left to right, the black solid will also animate from left to right. Now from here, we need to go ahead and generate a brand new rectangle and animate this from right to left. So selecting the black solid, we'll go back up to the rectangle mask and we'll draw a rectangle in the middle of the video. Now create a brand new keyframe on mask path just at the end of the first animation. Scroll ahead again, the same duration. We'll go back to that first keyframe that we just made and we'll pull the left two keyframes over to the right of the frame. Now, when we watch this back, you'll see the first rectangle goes over from left to right and the second rectangle goes from right to left. So we need to carry on the movement and we need to create one more rectangle that will animate from the left to the right on the bottom of the frame. So select the black solid one, we'll go up to the rectangle mask tool, draw that rectangle mask on the bottom third of the video, create a brand new keyframe at the end of the movement of this second rectangle. Go ahead, maybe five, six, seven keyframes. Create a brand new keyframe again on the mask path. We'll go back to the first keyframe that we made here and we'll pull the keyframes on the right over to the left. So the bottom right and the top right keyframes of that bottom rectangle will go over to the left. Now, if we pull the cursor back to the very beginning and we play this back, you can see this paint comes from left to right, right to left and left to right again. But the problem is we have a black solid animated on top of our footage rather than the video. So how do we go from this black solid to our video? Well, that's simple. It's just a case of changing a simple setting. Now, make sure you can see the track mat option on your timeline. If you can't, then just press this button at the bottom of After Effects. And when you can see that track mat option at the top of the sequence, you want to scroll down to the video layer that is sitting on top. So the one directly underneath the black solid and you want to change the track mat to alpha inverted mat black solid one. Now, when we select this, we can see our black solid has disappeared and we now have our train footage animating into the person talking footage. So all we have to do now is select all of these layers inside of the sequence and we'll activate the motion blur. And then we'll activate the motion blur by selecting the motion blur icon on the right of the sequence. And there you go, that is the paintbrush, the spray can, the paint transition now complete. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the previous video if you want to see more. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next episode.